Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, as we have been talking about on the channel due to privacy and security concerns, uh, Microsoft's new Windows Recall, which is exclusive to Copilot Plus PCs, although it can, and I have posted previously, it can be run on unsupported and incompatible hardware, as in a non AR PC. Um, it's, this feature has been met with a lot of negative feedback and I actually posted on this yesterday um, that Windows 11 24H2 recall AR needs to be opt-in because most users will disable it and I'll leave that video in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Now in regards to these um, privacy concerns and negative feedback, a security expert, um, Kevin Beaumont, um, basically has asked the question whether Microsoft is telling the truth regarding the fact that it, it can't be hacked. But that, because Microsoft says that Windows Recall um, obviously is safe and secure and everything is done locally on your PC. And I'll leave another video I posted on that as well in the end screen just so you can play catch up if you um, need to get some more info. Now basically what is Copilot's the Copilot Plus PC Windows Recall. What is the feature? Basically, just a quick recap, but go check those other videos out, but a quick recap. Um, it's a feature that's exclusive to Copilot Plus PCs, officially by Microsoft, although it can be run on unsupported hardware, as mentioned, that uh, basically captures screenshots of your computer screen every few seconds, and then this data is converted to text, OCR, and stored in a database on your device. And... Uh, um, Basically, this allows you to easily search for information you've previously seen on your PC. So as I've been saying, Windows Recall remembers everything you do on your PC if the feature is enabled. Now, Kevin Beaumont, uh, the uh, security um, uh, expert, and by the way, I'll leave his post down in the description as well if you'd like to go check out the full post. But this is just a quick summary of that post. He has mentioned a couple of security concerns he has with um, Windows Recall. And uh, um, he actually posted about this in a tweet over on X um, a couple of days ago where he says that Microsoft told media outlets a hacker cannot exfiltrate Copilot Plus recall activity remotely. And basically he says, reality, how do you think hackers will exfiltrate this plain text database of everything the user has ever viewed on their PC very easily I have it automated and yes that automation a screenshot and obviously an image taken by Kevin Beaumont of that automation and that process. So here are a couple of uh, the, the security concerns that Microsoft claims the data is processed locally and um, it can still be accessed by malware or unauthorized users with admin privileges. So that's the first finding because traditional encryption methods apparently only protect against physical theft, not software-based attacks. Then the second kind of point that is addressed is that um, the database containing your entire browsing history. So here we can see run, program manager, notepad, task manager, quick settings, search, and so on. Um, it contains your entire browsing history, application usage, and even keystrokes, which um, obviously are vulnerable to exfiltration or attack. And hackers could steal your data um, in a couple of seconds if they actually get access to this. And another thing that was noted uh, in that post was that Recall can basically uh, scrape data from websites you visit, even if the website itself wasn't breached. So this creates basically, um, for want of a better word, a goldmine for attackers targeting specific user groups. So those are the main concerns that um, have been raised by Kevin Beaumont. And as mentioned, that full article of his will be down below in the description if you'd like to go read that more in depth. So basically, um, what should Microsoft do in all of this? And uh, um, it has been suggested that Microsoft should postpone the release of Recall. And I do agree with this. I think it's been released prematurely. And I think that's because Microsoft wants to get this thing out, this Windows recall out with our next annual feature update, uh, 24H2. And uh, they should basically postpone the release until they improve the security measures and obviously reevaluate the internal decision making process that led to this decision. So openly, um, openly acknowledging the flaws and taking responsibility, I think would be a nice move in the right direction 
for ga- regaining the so-called user trust because um, I've run a poll on this channel, as I mentioned in that video um, yesterday, which will be in the end screen as mentioned, where 85% of viewers of this channel say that they would disable the feature if it made its way onto their PCs. So there's been a lot of negative feedback regarding this feature, and this is the latest. And uh, um, obviously this research now that has been, and these security concerns that have been addressed by Kevin Beaumont are raising a couple of eyebrows. And let me know what you think. Should Microsoft postpone the release of Windows Recall? Should they remove the feature altogether? Let me know your thoughts. And I'm always open to good constructive thoughts and comments down below in the description. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.